call to uh, order the regular meeting agenda for January 23rd, 2023. Uh, Amy, can you do the roll call, please? Mr. Here. 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 Uh, salute to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America. The notice of requirements for the open public meeting law for this meeting has been satisfied. A copy of the notice has been sent to the Ashford Park Press and the coaster and filed in the office of the township clerk on July 26, 2022. Emergency notice. There's emergency exit through the courtroom doors and two exits at the rear of the room. No smoking is allowed. Uh, board policy, no new cases be started after 10.30 p.m. and no new testimony taken after 11 p.m. Can we can we change that now? Can we make that instead of 10.30? Can we 11, do it? 12 o'clock? No, no, I was kind of thinking about like 8.30. <laughs> All meetings will be videoed and audio taped and shown on the township of of Ocean Community Cable to Channel Channel 22 and Verizon Files and Channel 77 on Cablevision. All cell phones must be turned off. If you need to make a call, please do, uh, do so outside. Resolution Memorializations. Continental Land Development, LLC, Block 34, Lot 8, 1610-20, Poplar Ocean, Preliminary and Sino Final Major Site Plan Approval. Can I get a second? Second. Yes. 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 Uh, Case is carried to February 27, 2023. Alessandro Nascent Nascimento. Block 1701. Did I get the right date? 27th? 27th. Okay. Um, block 17 uh, dot 01, lot 8, 107 Adams Avenue Ocean. And uh, First French Speaking Baptist Ch Church. Uh, block 38, lot 71 and 72, 2795-2797, Asbury Avenue, Ocean. Okay, uh, we're going to do this ordinance. Jim, do you want to uh, do you want to read your little thing? Yeah, hold on one minute. It's ordinance 2407 modifies a land development ordinance to first of all clarify the relationship between conditional use standards and general standards of the zone in which the conditional use is permitted. It, in summary, if the conditional use standard conflicts with the general standard, the conditional use standard applies. Otherwise, the general standards of the zone apply. Uh, to allow warehouses as conditionally permitted uses in the C5 zone, the board's charge here is to determine whether or not the change is consistent with the master plan, and if not, any recommendations that the board may have. In this instance, both the C5 zone and the proposed use are not consistent with the master plan land use designation of the area occupied by the zone, which is general office. In this regard, it is important to know that the history, history of the C5 zone, it was created in 1994 by Ordinance 8, 1680, in response to changes in the character of the area and the demand for support facilities for the C4 zone. Aesthetics were also a primary concern. The planning board recognized that the creation of the C5 zone was not consistent with the master plan and also determined that it was consistent with the intent and purpose of the master plan. <clears throat> the Township Council adopted the ordinance by a 5-0 vote 
and found that it was not consistent with the letter of the master plan, but consistent with the intent and purpose. In 1997, accessory warehouses were added as conditional uses in the C5 zone. The proposed ordinance change is in further response to changing conditions in the immediate area of the site and changing demand and, in, and, the ch and changing demand, and in my opinion, are consistent with the intent and purpose of the master plan since it will provide space for support facilities for uses in the C4 zone. Um, and the board did have, we had some discussions about this. One point I do want to make is there was a concern that there were other lots in the zone that may actually qualify for this and there aren't any. Um, there's a lot directly across the street and that lot can't be subdivided because it, without getting variances because the zone requires a 350 foot foot width and a 350 foot depth and that lot doesn't have sufficient depth. So it, if it was subdivided, it would create two non-conforming lots. Okay. Um, I, I, I would think that we all feel that it's uh, inconsistent with the master plan. Would we say that first? We all agree with that? Yes. Do you have any, any, any other things that we would like to say? I'm leaning towards you, Ed, because yeah, I mean, I just, I just want to add, and, and I want to, you know, reiterate that the existing use for the accessory warehouses is mixed use. It requires both retail and warehouse uses. Which, when reading through the C5, the description, what kind of businesses are in there, and I understand the flexibility with the commercial. That kind of mixed use, I think, is is something that we should be supporting. I'm very concerned that not only across the state of New Jersey are warehouses popping up, but now we're seeing more <coughs> warehouses happening in Ocean. The warehouses were never originally supposed to be included in this area, not in the C5, which isn't consistent with the master plan, but even in the original, and Jim can fact check me here, but when it was originally just for office space, warehouses weren't a conditional use or an accessory use either, correct? That's correct. Correct. So I don't think that we should be cramming warehouses into every nook and cranny of Ocean Township until we have a, a plan for how we're going to handle warehouses and what we're going to be doing with them. There are examples of mixed use of retail consistent with the retail uses that we've set in other zones in town that are consistent with the current law in the C5. I think that a, a straight warehouse is not where we should be going with this and I think that the council should take some time and, and consider that. I mean, you know, as I understand that we're making their su a suggestion to them for their review, and I think that we should have a, a bigger part of a bigger conversation about warehouses before we're approving them piecemeal. Do you have anything to add to Ed's con concerns? Well, I understand Ed's concern, but it is uh, you know zoned for that very specific area right there by Seaview Square. Uh, the current property there is very industrial. It, it looks like it needs to be improved, and I believe that this is something that could allow the planning board to then ultimately have the decision if we get a, someone who's going to be the new tenant there we can actually make some improvements to the area uh, the parking is uh, horrendous over there so it's really not very conducive to the use it is right now so i do believe inherently there is a benefit to the township in this particular case i i agree with you i i'm sorry ed but uh you know i mean i think that that area there if, especially if we we're talking about jim you're yep. we're only talking about this one parcel correct yeah, it's, it really could only be done on this one parcel yeah. and then i'll just add then if that's the case then i think it's something that the zoning board would be better equipped to handle than for us making a macro change to the entire c5 and, and the only comment i would have there is that while yes it applies to the entire c5 the only site that it could really apply to is this one site. And it's it's better from a planning and zoning standpoint to approach something as a zoning uh, ordinance change than to do it as a variance. Because that when you start doing things by variance, that's when you start doing things piecemeal. And that's what the Medici case says in terms of uh, zoning boards just granting variances on a piecemeal basis all, all around. That's why you have to have, when you get a, a use variance, you have to have what's called a, help me out here, that's, that's the term we're looking for, the, the uh, reconciliation. Yeah, you, the, yeah. The, yes, you yeah, have to you do have a reconciliation to, with reconciliation, the zoning ordinance. Reconciliation, yeah, with, with the master plan and the zoning ordinance 
as to why that use is not permitted. And that's very difficult to do for a use variance application in most instances. Can I say something? Of course you can say something. So, Ed, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. It's going to take a long time. No, not that okay, long. Not that long. Four score and seven years ago. Um, Ed, just I'm a little confused of why you're, you, you, when your opening remark is you made it sound like that this was a, that this decision has a lot of legs to it in other places in the town. I'm, I guess I'm a little confused of why you, you kind of inferred that, if this only really relates to this. It, it's the, the general pattern that I think we're seeing because we haven't handled this through the master plan yet or through any kind of larger thing that the council is is looking at this and we're making changes to the zones the last one was Jim I'm forgetting was the C3 the C4 on 35 for the, the probably C2 it was yeah it was when we were for the self storage unit yeah. mm. right so we're seeing more of these come through as ordinances from council that are are zoning changes but they're not it's part of a bigger issue, and it's going to continue to be a bigger issue. This is this isn't the end of it. You know, our our retail spaces are changing, our uses in town are changing, and I think you know, part of our other conversations are what is the big picture here? What is the big picture here? And and I'm not sure that this the that the process we're going through with these ordinances for self storage, mini warehouses, warehouses, when warehousing is such a big issue across the state right now that many municipalities are struggling with, that this is the best way to do it. And that's just my feeling on it. So, so I, I, my question to you, Ed, is this, is that the C5 zone, you, you have an objection having warehouses there? I like the current accessory warehouse use that is the mix of the retail and the warehouse. I would also be really amenable to the type of mixed use warehouse retail that we have on 35. It's yeah, the street you know, warehouse is, is retail is dying. I, I, I just don't, I don't see it. I, I really don't. I think the C5 zone has no problem supporting as many warehouses as they could put in there. Really. There's enough retail there already. I disagree, but okay. <laughs> All right, so we're, how do we say this, Mark? You're going to make a motion that you find it inconsistent with the master plan, but find it to be consistent with the intent and purpose of the master plan. Yeah. Just like they ruled in 94? Just 94. like they ruled in 94, yeah. yeah. Really? That's all we have to do? That's all we got to do. Does anyone else have an objection to that? No? Just, just head. Just me. <laughs> so someone's got to make that motion. Someone will second and we'll have a roll call. I'll make a motion to say exactly what Mark Lexstein said. <laughs> that it's inconsistent with the master plan, but it is consistent with the intent and purpose I of the C5 zone. I am plagiarizing 1994, however. Yes, yes, yes. that's correct. Okay. <laughs> I'm not taking credit for it. I'll second it. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Mr. Beal? Yes. Mr. Bogovich? Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, so, so that can just be done by letter to council. We don't need a resolution for that. New case uh, 1302 Edgewood LLC. Block 123, Lot 8, 1302, Edgewood Avenue, Ocean, R-5. This is an application for minor subdivision to divide one 17,307 square foot lot into two lots, 8685 square foot and 8622 square foot, with a necessary variance for lot width when 75 is required and 60 is proposed. Mr. Tilton, I presume. Yes, you, you presume correctly. How are you? I'm good, very good. Welcome. Re Thank you. Happy Re New Year. And to you. Yes, you too. I just told before you start, let me just mark in the exhibits. Okay. Uh, exhibit A1 will be the survey of the property made by Mr. Samante, dated uh, July 26, 2022. Exhibit A2 is the minor subdivision plan, also by Mr. Samante, dated August 25th, 2022. Then I have the following exhibits on behalf of the board. B1 will be the board engineer's report. 
dated January 4th, 2023. B2 will be the board planner's report, dated January 11th, 2023. B3 is the fire marshal's report, November 14th, 2022. B4 is going to be the crime prevention officer's report, November 25th, 2022. And exhibit B5 will be the traffic safety bureau report, dated November 15th, 2022. Those are all the exhibits. Thank you. <clears throat> Before we begin, the um, I provided the legal notices to your secretary, and I presume they're in good order. They are. Thank you. Mr. Chair, members of the board, uh, my name is Richard Tilton. I'm attorney in Allenhurst. I'm here this evening on behalf of 1302 Edgewood LLC. It is a minor subdivision uh, for property located at, interestingly, 1302 Edgewood Avenue in the Wanamassa section of town. It's in the R5 zone, and as you identified, it's uh, 17,307 square feet in size. It has 120 feet of frontage along Edgewood. The rear of the property um, is contiguous with Deal Lake. So from the property facing east, you're, you're looking at Deal Lake. The um, application is quite simply to divide the property essentially into almost two equal lots with frontages of 60 feet each. Uh, the resulting square footage of the lots would be um, 8,685 for, for proposed lot 8.01 and 8,622 square feet for proposed lot 8.02. The uh, resulting lots are uh, in excess of the lot size required for the R5 zone. The uh, applicant does seek variance relief for the lot widths, 60 feet or 75 feet are required. Um, the subdivision plans were prepared by Mr. Sermont. They're dated uh, August 25th, 2022. They're revised through August 20, I'm sorry, through October 28th, 2022. Mr. Sermont seated to my left. If he could just be sworn. Sir, do you swear any testimony you're about to give would be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, salty God? Yes, I do. I just state your name for the record. Charles Sermont. And you are. 301 Main Street, Allenhurst. And you're a licensed engineer, state of New Jersey, correct? Yeah, yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And Mr. Chair, I know that you've recognized Mr. Sermont before as a professional. I ask that his testimony be um, considered as such tonight. Without objection. Thank you. Um, Chet, if you yes. will, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward application. Yeah, why don't, I, you, why don't you just hang on for a second? Sure. Uh, Jim. Yes. Any objections? Let me just swear in our experts. Do our experts uh, both swear that any testimony they're going to give this evening will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, self and God? I do. Thank I you do. both. I do. Yeah. Um, now, as far as the subdivision itself goes, no, both of the lots are larger than the ordinance would permit in terms of area and the widths where the variances are necessary for the widths. They're consistent with <coughs> the lot widths for the lots on either side as well as a number of other lot widths in the immediate area of the site. So that I don't really have a problem with the subdivision itself. I have <clears throat> some confusion as far as what they're talking about as far as tree preservation. Because they're seeking a waiver of the tree location and preservation plan. But then the plan shows a number of trees that are going to be removed. Um, and when I look at that, if there's 12 trees going to be removed, they'd either have to put 12 4-inch trees in, 24, 2 and a half inch or a donation of 4200 to the Shade Tree Fund, according to the ordinance. And I know the board prefers actually having the trees on the site. Correct. Yeah. Um, they require three street trees total, and there's none pro proposed. And they also require three trees per lot, and there's only a total of three trees, two on one lot and one on the other. So definitely we need some testimony as to what's going to be done as far as tree replacement. Um, one possibility is, as far as the tree replacement, to put it off until the site's going to be developed, if the board should approve the subdivision. But then there has to be some mechanism for a new property owner, if he's buying the site, to know that he's on the hook for tree replacement. No, I wouldn't want to do yeah, that. Well, the, pro the problem there, the, the other side of that is, if you put the trees on the lot, it could impact the type of development that's going to occur in the future. So you'd have to make sure you put those trees in a location where you're not going to have a driveway, you're not going to have a house or accessory structures. So it's, it's a double-edged sword. It's something for the board to consider what you want to do. Um, and then the other, there's some improvements on adjacent lot seven 
that extend into the site that needs to be discussed. It's not much, just a small enc encroachment, but it still needs to be discussed. Yeah. Sure. I was just, I don't, I'm, I should be by now familiar with your tree ordinance. Yeah. Uh, like, for instance, those five trees running up the uh, Southerly property line. Yes, yes. They're really tall. They're tall, evergreen. scraggly, evergreen trees. I re they're kind of close to the neighbor's yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, they I should like be removed, but the yeah. ordinance says if they're removed, they, they have to be are. replaced. Yeah, okay. yeah. And, right, and, yeah, yeah, I, and I agree that those trees should come out because they're, okay. they're, they're a hazard. Um, okay. Especially since they're on the north side of that property to the south and the house is fairly close to the it's property line and the prevailing winds on the major storms come out of the northeast okay. so if they go down the chances are they're going on that evergreens house. Yeah. still do uh yeah evergreens the yeah they count yes they do yeah. any tree that's six inches caliber or greater well, providing you the street trees yeah i'm, I'm sure of that yeah. we, right but but that's the it's up to the board to decide what they what they want to do there as far as the tree replacement yeah the ap the applicant definitely intends to um, install mm -hmm. trees after the houses are built on it and just so the board knows I, I see the word developer being used like the applicant actually is the end user for both of these lots 1302 LLC is two couples one of one's an existing existing resident in, in Ocean Township that are developing these sites for themselves, just so the board is clear. And we, I totally have no problem adhering to the, obviously to the tree ordinance, to either installing the trees or contribution in lieu of installation of trees, clearly will comply with the shade tree requirement. To the extent that there's some concern about how will this be addressed, I, I, I think we can put something in the subdivision deeds, because. Hopefully, if we intend to perfect by minor subdivision deed, I think I've seen that before. Or can we make this a bondable item? Because there's going to be, we're also installing. That might be, a, it may, maybe make it a bondable item that the trees have to be put in at a certain point in time. Because we have to do yeah. sidewalk and curb That's, anyway. I have I, no problem I, with that. I defer to the, <laughs> the experts on either side of me to that issue, though. Yep, Mr. Chairman, what, uh, why don't I tell you about my report and that might help you uh, with your that would be here. great uh, so I have a couple uh, minor things um, that uh, so what we have here is a subdivision plan with no proposed improvements uh, a lot grading plan or a plot plan will be required to be submitted to the township engineer at the time of uh, building permits for each individual lot um, the uh, there, there, the curb and sidewalk in front of the the site is in poor condition, uh, to say the least. Yeah. Um, and, and with construction of, of new homes, they're gonna have to be uh, reconstructed and, and redone anyway. So I, I was going to suggest that a condition of the approval would be that at the time of uh, the, the plot plans or the grading plans, that a new curb and sidewalk would be um, proposed. And I imagine a similar type condition could be imposed for, for trees. Okay. Right. We'd agree to that. Okay. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, our, we don't, I, well, I should say, I, I, in years past, we would, uh, this board allowed people to make contributions. We, we've kind of gone away from that. We don't, we want the trees replaced. So, so I would have, uh, I'd be in favor of making some type of conditions if we approved your subdivision. Does anyone else from the board have any questions? I just have a, a quite back to trees just at a in in Bennett. This is probably for you to just clarify. So the back end of this these properties, the ones that are closest to the lake, there's one tree that looks like where this grade drops off down towards the lake to be removed. Is that an embankment that goes down to water? Is there a is there a wall there? <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a wall right before you get to the, the edge of the lake. Um, okay. Out. It's shown as uh, elevation five to six, um, and then you know the lake is at zero. It fluctuates. It's tidal zero to one. Right, but there's but it's not it, the. There's no shoreline there, right? There's just the wall. Yeah, it's not like a beach or anything. Gotcha. It's, it's a wall, like a bulkhead. Okay. Uh, before the, the war. 
Yeah, it looks like there's a deck in a concrete area down at the base of the wall. Right. Yeah. 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 Anyone else have any questions? I just got a quick question. So, as far as this deck goes, is this uh, a shared type of entity? Is there riparian rights? Is there anything that's complicated about that? It's of the when you say the deck, you mean like the the like. Yeah, the dock and the... Yeah, the dock, I'm sorry. Th that would all go to lot, uh, proposed lot 8.01. So the, the subdivision line basically eclipses. So it, the, the dock is totally on the uh, north side of the property. So the southerly proposed lot 8.02, it doesn't have a dock. Just that there's just a bulkhead there, and that's what's going to remain. All right. That won't cause any problems down the road when they split the property in half? and. Nope. Okay. Shouldn't. Unless they're not invited to a party or something. Other than that, hey, there shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Mr. Chair, can I go back to the trees a second? I, sure. I thought, I heard, I just want to make sure you didn't say all the trees have to be put in versus a combination. I think Mr. Higgins and the ordinance contemplates that there could be a combination. The applicant does intend to plant trees. I just don't know whether we're going to be able to get 12 new trees because we're removing 12 plus another three i mean that's a lot of trees to be to go on a well 8, the, the square foot. street trees and the, the other three trees Clearly. per lot count towards count? The okay 12. well we'll yeah. put those in that's not double counting right but okay. the board has required in the past that all of the trees to be replaced if at all possible be replaced on site we okay so all so i can do is try so yeah, yes yeah, yeah. They, they, there's different caliper sizes though, right, Jim? That I'm allowed to put in. I'm allowed to yeah. put smaller ones in. Two and a half inch, but you need two, or four inch. Right. Two two and a half inch equals, equals one, one four inch. Right. Okay. So, if they do four inch, they do fewer trees. Okay. So the proposal is that they would have to bond for the trees, and the trees are going to be shown on the plot plan when they mm -hmm. submit the yeah. plot plan. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Subject to the review of the engineer and planner. Mm -hmm. Excellent. In, in right. conformance with the ordinance. Right. Now, just, where, so, go ahead, I'm sorry. Just so the board is aware, I just found actually one more variance that's being created, which I did not realize when I did my report. I don't think it's a major concern at all, but because of where the lot line is and the steps that go down to the dock, they have to be 10 feet away from the property line, and it's, it's very close to the property line about a foot off. So that would be another variance. And again, it's an existing condition. It's just a result of where the subdivision line So the rear yard lines. setback is 10 the feet? The side yard setback is side 10 yard. feet. Side and yard. the rear yard too, and that, but that accesses the lake, so I guess it's a technical variance. But, it is. Yeah. So side and rear are 10 yeah. feet, where they're only giving one foot? One foot, it looks like, and, and no feet at the rear. Foot side, turn foot rear, okay. And that's on lot 801. Mark. Yeah, that's 801. 801. Yeah, 801, oh. yeah. Okay. Um, and then what about the encroachment for lot, from Lot 7? The, um, from Lot 7, just so everyone knows, it, those are brick, they're brick pavers that we'll pick up. Yeah, yeah. It looked like there's a, what, yeah. yeah, there's like a landscape, there's like yeah. bushes, and it looks like the neighbors maybe just go back and forth between each other's lots. Yeah, it's okay. just brick pavers, we'll pick them up. So they'll be removed? Yes. Okay. Okay. And that'll be a condition. That's all I know. Three conditions. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else have anything else they want to add? Okay. I mean, I don't want to deprive you of Ms. Caffone's testimony, but I don't know that it's no, necessary. No, I don't think it's necessary. I'll agree with you. I do think she came all this way. I do think This would have been the best testimony I've ever heard her give. If you can just say you agree with Mr. Higgins, then. I agree with Mr. Higgins. All right, let me swear you in. <laughs> Ms. Caffone, do you swear that any testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. And just state your name for the record. It's Christine Nazaro, N-A-Z-Z-A-R-O. Caffone, C-O, F as in Frank, O-N-E. Business address is 125 Half Mile Road, Suite 200, Red Bank, New Jersey. And you are a licensed planner, State of New Jersey? Yes, I am practicing. All right, so I'm just going to ask you the one question. Uh, Mr. Higgins has already testified. He is the board's planner. Do you agree with everything that he said? 
Yes, I do. Okay, I don't know if the board needs to hear anything else. It would just no. be repetitive <laughs> testimony. Do not need to hear okay. anything else. Thank you very much. I do have Appreciate one question it. for oh, Mr. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, is, is your dad still working? Okay. He's not. He's he not, so he didn't do any of the playoff games. He did then. not no. do any <laughs> of the playoff games. And he is officially retired from the NFL. Okay. My dad's an NFL official. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes, he has yeah. two giant Super Bowl rings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you didn't want them, right? <laughs> <laughs> I tell him all the time I'm going to sell them for another Cartier love ring. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay. And so. we'll note for the record there is no one here from the public on this application. Right. So we can close the hearing. And. I make a motion to approve the subdivision based on the three conditions. Do you want to read the conditions out again? The conditions were with the trees, they're going to be bonded, they're going to be bonded, and they will be placed upon the pot plan. Pot plan. The curb and sidewalk will be installed, and I'm sorry, will be placed upon the pot plan, will have to be done. What was the third condition? Removal of the... Oh, the removal of the encroachment, the, right. And, and then yes. also the, the street trees will be put in. Yes, of course. Yes. Right, that's going to be yeah. part of the... Yeah, they're going to have to comply with the ordinance. Yeah. Yep, yeah. got that. Okay. okay. Thanks. Can I have a second? I'll second. Roll call. Yes. 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 <clears throat> yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank You're you. Welcome. I make uh, all in favor of closing the meeting. Aye. 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 Aye.